think it's, and listen, you and I, we talk about this all the time, but I think it's always important to kind of bring it up. It's just taking that transfer from the weight room, you know, out to the track. And one of the terms I've been kind of just messing around with is, I, you know, ki- kids that are weight room warriors versus athletes. Mm-hmm. And I think th- that's happening a lot now. You have the kid who goes in a weight room and kills it. And I, listen, I respect it a ton. I think it's awesome. But then it, the kid's got to get on the field and play. You know, that lacrosse player has got to ride and clear and, and do, do his thing and, and make plays. And he doesn't have to big, be the biggest, strongest, fastest kid out there. They just have to be athletic. Um, you know, speed will definitely play a role. But I think, you know, it, it's hard to kind of get people to understand because, listen, weights are, are um, manageable, right? You know what the numbers are. When you can measure them, you can manage them. So you know kind of where they're at. Athleticism it's not fully defined. It's kind of in the eye of the beholder. So I think that's something that we do as coaches. Um, have you, you know, have you seen that? Have you experienced that and talked with parents? Cause you know, listen, parents and kids sometimes have different views and look through different lenses when it comes to what really athleticism is. Yeah. I think that, well, I think there's three things on that. The first is what a parent expects when they come into the program. Like they expect their kid to leave a dripping ball of sweat every time they come in. And, and I'd say probably the number one negative feedback piece we get from parents is that their kid isn't tired enough when they leave the gym. And that's where we have the conversation of, of just what, what we do. And to train to get fast on a 30 yard track, you don't necessarily need to be a hot, sweaty mess. Um, or when you're training for absolute speed, that's one thing. And if your kid is that hot and sweaty after a workout, they're probably not in shape. Um, which is probably why they're hot, men- messy, uh, sweaty messes at the end. And then two, um, you know, like, and this actually, like you're talking, talking about with like the barbells and like actually be able to put load on an implement and, and lift it more and seeing progression. I, we had this conversation today in the Parisi mentorship coaching call um, is an area that one of the coaches wanted to get better at. And it was this idea of, of regression and progression and speed. And I think this is probably a good time to bring it up because you would know as well as anyone, um, you know, like we can talk about a kid progressing by putting more weight on the bar. We can talk about a kid progressing by getting into a challenging position. But when a kid goes from skipping in the warm up to a full end sprint and you watch that sprint and you go, Oh my God, Ooh, you know, make kind of a face. You're like, Oh, that's not what I really thought I was going to see from the skip. Coaches don't really know how to get in the middle, right. To how to kind of get a kid from a, a, a decent skip to a better, better run, like a better ability to run. And I think that's just because no one talks about it. Like you just said, Steve, like people can understand the weight room because the weight room is probably pretty comfortable. It's, it's linear progression for most. Um, we can have the argument of like conjugate and things like that, but you, it's pretty black and white. Like that's the weight room, especially with a kid, like it's foundation movement patterns, put a little bit more weight on the bar. That's kind of the old Chad Coy saying, a little bit more weight on the bar each week, you're probably going to get a little stronger. Um, and yeah, then it works. Too is, it definitely works. Yeah. Kids, when they get like in the weight room, they get sore the next day, most of them. And they're like, Ooh, ah, I did something great. But with speed training, they're like, ah, damn, am I getting faster? I don't really know. Unless you're a track kid and you're getting measured a lot, but no one talks about speed training to that capacity. Like that's it to people. Speed work is, is a bag session with a coach and a stopwatch in a field running gassers. And they think that's speed work or it's agility ladders and that's speed work. It, or it's um, the new one now is like pushing things up a hill and dragging tires through a parking lot. And they're like, that's speed work. I'm like, ah, that's just making you tired, man. Like that's not actual speed work. So I think those are the big pieces there. And I know I said three, but I'm talking so much. I forgot the third, but it's uh, people not really knowing what, what it is, like what speed work really is. Um, and then the other piece is, is like we're saying, like people just have different expectations of like what they're going to get and what they're yeah. going to feel as they do it. 